Hi randoms, today I'm going to do a full review of this salicylic acid from Nip and & Fab and I've been using this for a month, as you can see I'm about to finish the bottle and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know if you want to buy this product everything from what I liked about this, what I didn't like about this, did it work for me and how I found it compared to other salicylic acids that I used in the past that are in the same price range so let's start with this review shall we now I want to start this video on a positive note so I'm going to start with the things that I like about this product. First of all, the formula. Now, this one contains 2% of salicylic acid. And don't worry, even if it says extreme on it, don't get scared just because it's actually quite a mild salicylic acid compared to others that I've tried in the past. And that is because this one also contains niacinamide in it. And I actually think it's a genius idea to include niacinamide in a salicylic acid just because, first of all, the salicylic acid is going to really exfoliate your skin and just push out all the excess dirt, sebum, and really anything that is clogging your pores out of your pores and really brighten your skin. And on top of that, the niacinamide is also going to reduce the appearance of any existing pimples that you might have. It is also going to brighten your skin even more and reduce the appearance of pigmentation and dark spots. So really, this is a formula with a bang. I love it. Now, I have said that this is a mild salicylic acid compared to the one that I've tried in the past, but that doesn't mean that this is a mild salicylic acid in the big picture of skincare. Oh no, 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 no. This is still a very strong salicylic acid. So if you are one that is just starting out with skincare and exploring AHAs, BHAs, salicylic acid is a BHA by the way. If you are one that is just dipping your toes in the water, you really do not want to start with this. This is still a very strong solution in general. Like even when I apply it, it still tingles. It still provides some irritations to my skin so it gets redder. So really if your skin is not used to using AHAs or BHAs, you want to build up your tolerance to this. So maybe go in with a more gentle salicylic acid based product. So for example, a toner, Nip and Fab also does a salicylic acid toner, the 2XXL Extreme 2% Salicylic Acid Toner. That is a mouthful of a name. And I'm actually gonna do a review on that product too because I just bought it. So I'm gonna try it a little bit and then I'm gonna review it for you guys. So card it up here once that video is done and up. But so again, you really want to build up your tolerance to this because you can actually burn your skin with this. Uh, trust me, I have been there. I burnt my skin, not with this specific salicylic acid one, but with another one that I tried in the past, and trust me, it wasn't cute at all. And also, I know that this bottle looks very cute, very Barbie-like and innocent, like it wouldn't do anything bad for you, but this is some really powerful stuff. So if you're not using salicylic acids, pay attention. I'm just warning you, you can do whatever you want with your skin, with your face, but you can get... Just take the advice from me. I have been there. I, I'm actually gonna insert a picture right here for you guys. It, I know, I look like a Halloween mask in a, from a horror movie, but no, that was just a burn caused by the salicylic acid, so pay attention. Anyways, now that I've been nice, it is time for me to start bitching, so I'm gonna move on to the things that I don't like about this product. First of all, the fragrance. No, 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 but psh, I know, I know, it's a whole experience, it's really enjoyable for your skincare products to contain fragrance in them and just smell nice while you're applying it, it's a whole experience, I know, but if you didn't know, fragrance is actually irritating for your skin and I really don't see the point of putting fragrance in a salicylic acid formula just because salicylic acid in itself is very irritating to your skin, so just really putting fragrance is actually gonna amplify the irritation to your skin and there's really no point for that. As I always say, if you want to smell nice, Put perfume on you. Do not put perfume in your skincare. But that's just my opinion. You guys do what you want. Now there is another salicylic acid that is also 2% and it's also in the same price range and it doesn't contain fragrance. So really it's my favorite out of the ones in this price range. But that is for the end of the video. So if you want to see which one it is and my recommendation, then keep on watching until the end. And now moving on to my experience with this. First of all, I do want to say if you are someone with acne prone skin and oily skin like me, as you can see, I have pimples and breakouts. You have have to get in on the winning team and start using salicylic acid based products because salicylic acid is a must. It is really gonna purify your skin from the inside and out, detoxify it, unclog your pores, prevent future breakouts, brighten your skin. It is a must for anyone like me with acne prone skin. But so moving that out of the way, I've been using this salicylic acid for the past month now every like once or twice a week at max because there's also 
over exfoliation which is actually bad for your skin as well so I have to say that this one specifically I again as I said I love the formula in this it is so effective it really brightened up my skin unclogged all my pores I actually do not have any blackheads if you can see now like I don't have clogged pores, whiteheads, blackheads, nothing. And this is all thanks to the salicylic acid. Yeah, I have some breakouts, some pimples, but trust me, my skin would be so much worse if I weren't using a salicylic acid. And specifically, I love this one. As I said, it is really effective. It is quite mild compared to other salicylic acids that I've used in the past. And so if you are someone that is not like maybe ready to go like for the full, really hard and intense salicylic acids, but you still are trained and you have used AHAs and BHAs in the past so you're not a beginner you're quite in the middle I feel like this one is very effective really good for you you're gonna enjoy it a lot but if you are someone that enjoys fragrances in their skincare products or just in general you don't mind I, I do have to say it is a very nice flowery petally rose rosy based scent I really enjoy so I ha I'm gonna have to give them that so if you don't mind any scents and maybe having a bit more irritation in the morning after using this product then definitely I don't see anything wrong with getting this but so how I integrate this specifically in my skincare routine is first of all I'm gonna go with my toners my essences and then twice a week I'm gonna put on this salicylic acid serum again be cautious with it be mindful and don't go overboard do not lather yourself in it do not bathe yourself in it but so you really want to use just a drop a drop on your chin a, this is the chin I'm hello I'm sorry a drop on your chin a drop on your cheekbones a drop on your nose a drop on your forehead and then maybe if you feel like you want a little bit of extra more effectiveness and a little bit of more salicylic acid on your t-zone because I do get it I am oily and that is where I tend to get the most clogged pores and the most breakouts then I would go in ahead with another drop after that you just really want to leave it on put some moisturizer after your salicylic acids because this is an irritating product it is going to strip your skin from the moisture and now lastly, as I told you, I am going to compare this with another salicylic acid that I've tried in the past in the same price range. And I have to say, I actually prefer that one more. And that is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2%. Just because, first of all, I feel like that one was a bit stronger. The formula in itself was a bit stronger and more effective. I feel it was because it was a pure salicylic acid. It wasn't mixed in with any niacinamide. But so again, you would have to implement another niacinamide on top of it if you want the benefits of niacinamide this one has niacinamide built in so you know you just really have to decide if you want a more effective salicylic acid solution and you want more benefits of the salicylic acid but then you would have to you know go in with niacinamide on your own or if you want all in one with this so you really you have to pick your fighter also another thing that I prefer for the ordinary one is that it doesn't contain any scent and as I told you I don't like scents in any of my skincare products especially in an exfoliator like a salicylic acid which is going to irritate your skin. However, I do have to give points for Barbie cuteness and prettiness for the Nip and Fab salicylic acid just because this is like so cute. It smells so nice and it's very just like I don't know. I love the I love the bottle pink. You know I'm obsessed with pink things. So I just love this, you guys. So Again, if you want to go for prettiness and cuteness and a, a nice experience overall with the smell, go with the Nip Plus Fab one. If you d really don't care about the packaging and the pizzazzing and the really cute stuff, then go ahead with the ordinary one because I feel like that is a lot more effective and strong. Anyways, if you like my personality, if you like what you saw in this video, if you are into skincare, if you are into makeup and you actually want to glow up for 2020 and you actually want to be the cutest you can ever be then you know what I would actually consider subscribing to this channel and actually also turning the notification on so that you can be notified whenever I upload and so that I can give you all my tips into looking pretty now I might not be the prettiest ever I'm not saying that but I do say that I did have a very big glow up so really I just know how to finesse and deviously move my way through all the ugliness and just you know like glow up into being the best you can possibly be with some enhancements like help from the plastic surgeon I'm not gonna deny that but also with looking pretty and also being confident in yourself so again if you want all of this I'm rambling I'm sorry but subscribe and turn the bell icon on and now randoms anyways it is now time to the Italian word of the video but anyways since this video was all about salicylic acids and 
If I remember correctly, I did show you a very disturbing picture of how disfigured and dismantled my face was by using not this one specifically, the ordinary one actually, and how bad it, it made my face just because I was using it recklessly. I'm rambling, I'm sorry, but the Italian word of the video is going to be sfigurato, which is disfigured and just really fucked up in the face in English. And now moving along to my favorite comments in my second last video, therefore the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream Review card up here. If you still haven't seen that video, it is actually a really great moisturizing cream for dry to very dry skin, but also people who use a lot of retinol, a lot of active ingredients that actually dry out your skin and your face. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But my favorite comment in that video is actually from the Alisa Morrison. I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. And by the way, if this is you in the profile picture, you look stunning. I love the contrast of blonde hair with really dark brows. I just feel like that's, ah. Uh, you look so pretty. Also, your lips, so plump. I love them. But speaking of lips, she actually commented off topic, but you have the nicest lips. Ha ha ha. Thank you, lovely. You know what? The, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna just say it. You know, they are enhanced. Like, they're not just natural, just like anything on my face. It's it's all enhanced. But they, they I feel like they look natural. Like, I, I would be unclockable if I weren't just like screaming it and telling everyone that I meet and I know. Just but literally, like, I'm not even kidding. I, I'd be like introducing myself to you. Be like, hi, I'm Mateo and I'm plastic. Who are you? <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. It's not <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much. I love you. You're so sweet. Thank you so much for commenting. I really appreciate you. But anyways, randoms, before I go, if you want to see more of this randomness, of this craziness, then maybe consider following me on my Instagram because I do try to keep you guys entertained. But girl, if you thought you can just go off this video, click out of this video, maybe even off of YouTube, you are wrong. Let me tell you right now, there is no need for you to do that. There is no need for you to start doing something else. You can go a little bit more down the YouTube rabbit hole, bitch. Let's be real. What else will you be doing on this quiet Wednesday afternoon? Like, le let's be real. What would you be doing? So just, I have some more videos. These two videos right here, they're super pretty and I bet they're super helpful. So just watch them. But oh, remember to be random. Always be random.